Hello and welcome. My name's Tim Barber and I'm a Yorkshire Blue Badge tourist guide living on the edge of Otley. Now Otley has a fascinating and varied history. Its name actually dates back to Saxon times, roughly translating as otters clearing in the woods. Otley has developed over the years into the thriving market town we see today. Now I'm going to take you on a tour of the town and show you some of those historic sites. Above Otley lies the Shevin, a ridge of old millstone grit overlooking the town. The wharf valley below was carved out by glaciers, but it was up on the Shevin where the earliest signs of habitation can be seen. The Shevin is home to Paleolithic rock art and even evidence of an Iron Age settlement on its lower slopes. But now it's a great place to relax, exercise and explore, taking in the wonderful views of Otley and the surrounding countryside below. We know that there's been worship on the site of All Saints Church for hundreds of years by the early 6th century preaching crosses that can be seen now with inside the church. A Norman church was built here in the 11th century, but all that remains of that is the chancel. But the church has evolved over many years into the thriving, busy hub of the community that it is today. The railway in Otley is long since gone, but sitting next to the churchyard lies the Navvies Memorial. This strange stone construction is an exact replica of the north entrance to the Bramhope Tunnel, a monument in memory of the 23 navvies who lost their lives in the 1840s whilst building the two-mile tunnel to connect Airedale and Wharfdale by rail. In the 1200s, Otley was granted a charter to have a weekly market, and this market square has remained a hive of activity ever since, as well as the distinctive Jubilee clock celebrating the Golden Jubilee of Queen Victoria. The marketplace also hosted Oliver Cromwell's troops during the English Civil War, the night before the Battle of Marston Moor. The soldiers are reputed to have drunk the Black Bull dry. Built in the 1850s, the Otley Courthouse used to be home to Otley's fire station and police station. It also contains some of the original police cells that can be seen by appointment. It is also home to the Otley Towns Women's Guild Tapestry, a large artwork portraying the heritage of the town. Otley is famous for its part in the history of printing, being the home of the Wharfdale Press. Developed by David Payne in the 1850s, this development allowed continuous printing for the first time. Within 50 years, 2,000 people in Otley were involved in making these Wharfdale presses, which were exported all around the world. 